It's Ryan here, and today I'm on a Pro 2 in a theater, and we're doing a musical. We have 25 wireless mics, and so uh, if you've seen my other video where I talk about using the combinator on the Behringer X32 uh, minus M32 to help control frequencies that build up on singers, then this is kind of in that same range here. Except on the Midas, we have a little bit more horsepower. So I'm gonna go into the uh, rack here. And uh, you can see I've got this open already. So what I've done is I've configured the board to be able to have six effects in the rack. And, um, and I've assigned all six of those racks to be the dynamic EQ. And if you look here, I've got a choice on uh, what mode and uh, I've got this in four by one mode, which means I have 20 channels of one dynamic EQ. And uh, you think, well, what good is that? So for example, in this show, this is a middle school, this is younger singers. And so they have a very strong head voice Right? It's not edgy yet, like older singers, more mature singers might be. So in my other video, you'll remember that one of the things the dynamic EQ was able to do was take care of some of that edge. Well, in this case, we have this, oh, this head voice, and it has a buildup around 700, 650, somewhere in that range. And so if you look, I'm going to click on one of these here, and uh, we'll just open it up and see what I've done. So here we go. So... Here's my four channels. I'm in four by one mode. And, uh, and so each channel then is set for a frequency where this buildup happens. And then I have it assigned to 20 different microphones. And so as we go from speaking voice to singing voice and this buildup in the mid range happens, then I have 20 of these dynamic EQs working away. So if you, uh, again, refer into the M32, X32, where I could struggle to get four channels, uh, this board has a lot more processing power, so I can get 20, 20 channels of this effect to happen here. And it's, it's very, very useful in this case where middle school voices are building up in the mid-range. So continuation of that, hope this is useful to you, and uh, we'll see you next time.